Whoa! Jeez, that's got some pull. That's got some pull. Come on. Yeah! All right, everyone. So, a little bit of a different video today. Um, right now, I'm just walking along the river and I'm, uh, I'm looking for a nice spot where I can do a bit of bait fishing. River's actually not looking bad at the moment. Looks like here's about as far as we're going to get. Quite like the look of this. So we're going to run two setups today. First one I'm going to be using to get way out over there. This is a nine foot long, three to six kilo rod, and I'm going to pair that with my Banford 5000 reel. We'll set this one up first and get it out there. So I actually bought this rod and this reel to go do a bit of beach fishing um, when I went to Morton Island, but uh, beach fishing didn't really work out and I haven't caught anything on this rod yet. So hopefully I, uh, I can get something on it today. Also, this is running 15 pound braid and I think this must be 16 pound leader. As for a rig, I'll keep it pretty simple. I'm just gonna do a Pat Noster. This weight to the bottom, size two, sinker in that shape. I don't know how heavy that is, but that should be enough. And then above that, I'm just gonna do a little loop. This is a size one Gemakatsu bait keeper. Not really sure what hooks I should be using here. Um, I'm not much of a bait fisher. I figure this is just a good general hook. A bit rough, but we'll get that out there. Not a bad distance. Turn drag right down. Very loose. Perfect. All right, lines tight. So on the uh, second setup, I'm just using my little two and a half thousand sized uh, Sol 3. Sticking that on a shorter rod. This is just a seven foot rod. If I did have more nine foot rods, that's what I'd be using for the river here. I think that's perfect. But anyway, I'll work with what I've got. Uh, I'm pretty sure on this, um, I'm running, this is an eight pound leader. Um, I'm only doing an 8 pound leader because this has only got 8 pound braid on it anyway. And on this one I'm going to do the same setup. Alright, let's get this one out as well. I'm thinking I'll uh, try to get a bit closer to the bank this with this one. It's good enough. We'll go with that. All right, that's set up as well. Drag super loose, same with that rod. Now we just sit here and wait. Okay, so we just got a bit of a nibble on this rod here. That's our first. We got something or not? Yeah, we got something, I think. It's moving, yep. Dave, drag off a bit. Come on, what is it? Oh yeah, it's a carp. Good, good, good. Oh, let the drag off a bit. Let him run. Back on a bit. Where is he? Come on, mate. Whoa! Jesus, it's got some pull. That's got some pull. I don't want to cross up this line. Oh. Come on. Oh. Okay. Wow, that thing's got some pull. Oh. Okay. Let's get the net. Oh. See if we can get this going. Where is he? It's just here. Yeah. It's not massive, but. That's not bad. Yeah, he's not huge, but man, he, that's a strong fish. Come on. So we can get him in the net. Come on. Yeah. Whoa. Got him. Okay. Probably one of the smaller carp I've caught, to be honest, but um, very good to finally get one. Okay, size carp, hooked. As he hooked perfectly in the corner of the mouth there. I'm gonna guess he's only about, oh, maybe a 50 centimeter fish, but man, he did fight very hard. That 
is a big old carp. Not that big to be honest. I've caught much, much bigger here. I reckon he's probably like oh, 50 to 60 centimeter sort of size. But yeah, there we go. Took the uh, bait right off the bank there. Look at that mouth. Just like a, like a vacuum cleaner these guys are. Quite nice colors too. Right, we'll give this guy a measure. I would put him bang on oh, about 57. Not too bad. That's um, they certainly do get a decent bit bigger than this. I don't like putting carp back, so I am gonna knock this guy in the head, and then um, I'll get that rod back in the water. I'll bait this rod up again, put it back in that exact same spot. Love that reel fighting that carp. Nice having the uh, bit longer rod too. Got another bunch of worms on that there. I'm gonna flick this out. All right, just stuck the uh, head torch on as well now. This rod's loading up. Have we got something? I think we do. Have we? Yeah, must do. Feels lazy though. What? Ah, oh, that's a doing. Just a turtle. Not what we're after. Come here, buddy. And I think we got him in the foot. Yeah. He's just got the hook just in his arm. Straight out. He's fine. All right. See you, buddy. Please leave my bait alone. I don't need you on the end of the line. Go on, mate. Off you go. Off he goes. Get this line back in. I think we are running out of worms. All right, and we got small worms left. So this hook's looking a bit sad, but we'll get it out there anyway. Okay, so we're on to something here by the feel of it. Yeah, we're on to something cool. I don't know what it is. It's fighting. Not bad. What is that? Ah, oh, little eel. Ah, oh, I hate eels. They're so annoying. Ah, they just wrap themselves up around the line. They are just a menace. All right, I'm gonna grab pliers from my bag here and we'll see if we can uh, get the hook out of this bloody thing. If not, might have to cut it up. They are just ridiculous. Like, look at him wrapping himself up around the line there. Okay, so this guy's got it right down in there. Um, I'm just going to cut him off. And uh, the hook should just rust out of him. Um, yeah, that's what happens sometimes when you get an eel. We'll get him back in the uh, water. See ya, buddy. Off he goes. He's just shot right off. Ah, bloody annoying eels. They are such a pain in the ass. Alright, we might pack it up soon. I think I'm just about out of worms. Alright everyone, so I think we're going to have to um, cut that off there. I'm pretty much out of bait and I am getting eaten alive by mozzies. Anyway, not, not a bad session there. Yeah, got three things I guess. Didn't want to get the turtle, didn't want to get the eel. But um, yeah, well, at least we got that carp. Probably just a quick video then, that one. I'll, uh, I'll see you on the next one.